The Chris Lord Algae Snare, one of the most famous sounds in rock history and a huge part of the sound of his mixes. How to get it next on Music Surgery with Dr. Bob. I've had the great fortune to work with CLA many times. Some as a producer that hired him to mix, or some as a writer that got to hear his great mixes on one of my songs. He's always consistent, fast, funny, and detailed. The last mix week I did with him, I was at a football game and could barely hear him. I told him the spot over the phone. He said, yo, I got this. In 10 minutes, he had made the tweak, sent it back. I listened to headphones and approved the mix in the stands at the game. Let's take a look at some of his tricks that go into making that iconic Chris Lord algae snare. I said snare, you idiot, not hair. Okay, I've got some live drums that I've recorded. They sound like this. So, let me get rid of these tracks for now. And let's listen to the kick, snare, and the hat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my snare. And I've got an SSL channel stripped on it with zero EQ just to use the gate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to hit the EQ at 8K. Let me play you before the 8K and after. Kind of a wide Q here. The Q is how wide you're pushing the 8K. I'll show you the difference. So here I would be taking part of the 4K and the 5K and the 6K and the 7K and the 9 and the 10, a little bit of all of that. But I could also narrow the Q so I wasn't taking so much of the frequencies on either side of 8K. But let me put it back to kind of where it was here. Here is the snare top before the 8K boost. Now with the 8K boost in. Immediately, you can hear the sizzle, the fizz on top. Let me enhance it even more so you can hear what this 8K boost is doing. This is the kind of 8K boost that CLA uses to really get his snare to poke through dense mixes, dense electric guitars, dense vocals. In a lot of mixes, your guitar energy, your electric guitar energy is going to come down here around 2, 3, 4K. This is where those boosts are for electric dirty guitars. Vocally, a lot of the sweet spots can be up here around 10, 12, 14K. This is really sweet for vocals. Now, these are general terms, but even though they're general, it's kind of where things tend to land quite often. So, this 8K boost tends to pop the snare out between where your dirty guitars are and your vocals your cymbals, your airy type stuff. Let me play it again. Now, similarly, I'm going to do the same thing to the snare bottom. Is more in the 4K range though. Let's listen. Now with the EQ in.
So our two snares together. have quite a bit more top than they did without the 4 and the 8K boost. Now, while you're at it, as an added bonus, let's try the same thing with the kick drum. Before, After. That's the pop we're after. That sizzle, the tick. This tends to be a great area for kick and snare to really poke out in the top frequencies of those instruments. Also, as many producers mixers do Chris usually tends to add a snare sample with a little bit of that 6 to 8k range in there as well and part of his sound as we all know is an emulation of his famous Sony DRE 2000 reverb. That reverb sounds like this. Let me exaggerate that so you can kind of hear what that sounds like. So, depending on the tempo of the song, I'm sure he adjusts the pre-delay. Or the size of the room. This obviously is an emulation that Stephen Slate put out and from what I understand is very close. If you'd like to have the exact one that Chris has, you can find one for $3,500 that probably barely works, but that's what it is. The Sony DRE 2000 at a garage sale near you. Anyway, kind of a funny 80s sound and reverb, but he sure makes it sound great. One more time, here we go. With all of our EQ in, without the sample and the verb. With the sample. With the verb. Don't forget to EQ your verbs at home either. There you have it. Keep in mind that these important steps are all similar to the different mechanics that go into a golf swing or a basketball shot. Every part matters. And there are no big fixes or solutions, but many layers of information that along the way start to add up and your progress and your producing and your mixing starts to become evident. Folks, liquor costs are going through the roof here in Tennessee. So please hit subscribe below and help the doctor out. And thanks for watching Music Surgery with Dr. Bob. Well, there you have it. Try that 8K sizzle at home to help that snare poke through a dense mix. And if you don't have a snare sample that may or may not be the one that he actually uses, here you go. 
Thanks again for taking the time to watch, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you the next time the doctor's in. I said snare, you idiot, not hair.